The way that magicians make the impossible possible right in front of our eyes is what makes them invincible. But how do they do them? Well, you've come to the right place. So, be it Dom Chambers' amazing beer magic or Richard Jones' famous trick out of the book. Hello and welcome back. And today, we're going to figure out the secrets behind some of Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. So, let's get started. The first trick. The appearing beer trick. Australians do love their beer, and Dom Chambers, the Aussie magician, proved to everyone that he had a great beer trick up his sleeve when he amazed everyone on the biggest stage of all, America's Got Talent. Here's what he did. Dom starts his trick by showing everyone that the paper bag is empty, then he produces a glass of beer from that paper bag. Thereafter, he keeps on producing more glasses of beer sometimes from the sleeve of his jacket and sometimes from behind the table placed on stage where he performs quite a few cool tricks. Also to bring variety to his trick, he even produces a tiny bottle of wine from the bag and magically converts it into a bigger sized bottle. And now comes the most amazing part of the trick. He takes off his right leg shoe and tells everyone that where there's a coaster, there's a beer. So in this act, before producing a beer, he always reveals a coaster. Then he lifts the paper bag to find nothing inside. Then all of a sudden, he brings out a glass of beer from inside that shoe. Finally, after taking out his jacket and doing a few tricks on that table, he takes out his shoe and then an empty glass out of that paper bag. To end this trick on a high note, he tilts the shoe and what do we see? There's beer flowing out of the shoe which he pours inside the empty glass and finally drinks the beer to amaze everyone around. So, how did he perform all those tricks? Well, here's the secret. The trick involves the concept of palming, sleight of hand, and a whole lot of misdirection. Also, without that table placed on stage, this trick wouldn't have been possible. So this table also plays a major role in this trick. In his act, Dom produces quite a few glasses of beer, where do they come from? Yes, there's a hidden shelf behind that table, and a few beer glasses were concealed inside the pocket of his jacket. But still, producing them at the right time involves a lot of skill. And we'll look at each of the reveals one by one. Now, the beer coasters are very easy to reveal as they can be easily concealed inside the paper bags or in his jacket. Let's first look at how he produces a glass of beer from that empty bag. For this part, the paper bag you see has a cut at its other side, which he concealed from the audience. Now, the cut in this bag allows his hand to easily reach near his jacket's pocket and bring out a glass of beer. Here, if you look closely, he's holding that glass of beer, which he finally reveals to the audience. Similarly, for the repeat performance, he places his left hand near the right side of his jacket and pulls out a glass of beer from the pocket and then places it in the paper bag before revealing it to the audience. For the next part of the trick, Dom brings out a tiny bottle of wine from that paper bag and converts it into a bigger one. Here, he didn't bring that tiny bottle from the bag. The tiny bottle was already concealed in his right hand fist, which he must have pulled out from one of his pockets. That's the reason he takes everyone's attention towards the paper bag. Now for the transformation, the bigger sized bottle is inside his left sided pocket. He pulls everyone's attention towards the bag, and using his left hand pulls that wine bottle from the jacket and holds it behind his hand. Then suddenly, he pulls out that wine bottle to create the illusion of the bottle being transformed. But now you know it. The tiny bottle is still in his right hand fist as he enjoys drinking the wine. Now, what about the tricks involving his shoe? Well, after taking out his shoe and revealing the coaster, there's a moment when he gets behind the table. At this moment, he pulls out a glass of beer from the shelf behind that table and puts it inside the shoe. The glass of beer is now concealed inside the shoe, which he finally brings out to amaze everyone around. Thereafter, he produces another glass of beer which was hidden and loosely attached inside the back of his jacket as he pulls it out and reveals it from inside the sleeve while taking out the jacket. Now, the tricks he does behind the table involve sleight of hand as he pulls out each glass of beer from the table's shelf and then conceals it behind the paper bag and that table before revealing it. 
Here, he's holding a glass of beer in his left hand behind that bag, and he's also grabbing that bag with his index finger. And this is how he produces the glass of beer. Now coming to the final part, how did the beer come out of his shoe? Well, there was a moment when he was behind that table when he grabs a bag behind that table, inside which there is a shoe and an empty glass. Now, the shoe he grabs is another gimmick shoe, which has a compartment built in to hold the beer. Then Dom reveals his shoe and an empty glass from the paper bag and points it towards his feet. But now you know it, the shoe he's holding is not his original shoe, and is the gimmick shoe which he had switched with the original one behind the table. Finally, he pours beer from the shoe into that empty glass and drinks it to end this amazing trick. Now, some of you'd think, how come the beer didn't spill out of his jacket? Well here, we can only say that Dom had practiced it quite well enough to make the beer in the glass stable inside his jacket. And there's a reason why he was quite firm in his stance, and also grabbed the beer glasses by their top and held it tightly to avoid them spilling out. The second trick, the book and bottle trick. This amazing trick got Richard Jones, the British magician and soldier, through to the semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. Here's what he did in his trick. He brings along two things. One, a bottle wrapped as a gift, and two, Amanda Holden's autobiography, inside which there is a photograph of all the four judges. He then asks Alicia, one of the judges, to make him stop anywhere she wants, as Richard ruffles through the pages of the book. After Alicia tells him to stop, stop, he places that photo above the page number where she stopped on. He then tells Alicia to remember that page number and the first word on that page as he keeps the photo inside his pocket. He then takes out the receipt of the book, shows the front side to everyone, and tells everyone that he wants the money spent for the book back. Then magically, he converts that receipt into a few money bills. Thereafter, he asks Alicia which page number it was. She tells it was page number 176. Richard then unwraps the gift, reveals the bottle, and what do we see? The bottle has a piece of paper present inside. Also after opening the bottle, the paper that came out was in fact the exact page number 176 of that book. He then tells Alicia to go to that page number 176, and also informs everyone that the page number 176 no longer exists inside that book. To the shock of everyone, the torn page he took out from the bottle was the exact page which was missing from that book. Finally, he burns the page, and what do we see? Burnt into the page is the chosen word, bottom, which was the first word on that page, number 176. So, how did he make that page appear not in the book, but in the bottle instead? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. This trick consists of two parts. First, turning the receipt into money bills, and second, forcing the judge to select the exact page the magician wanted. Coming to the first part, Richard takes out the receipt, unfolds it, and shows the front side to the audience. Now, the receipt is just one long paper with a bill attached to its back and then he has another bill folded and hidden behind that receipt using his right hand. Then all he did was just fold the receipt over as it reveals one of the bills using a simple flap. Now the other bill revealed was already hidden behind the receipt. You can easily figure this out if we slow down the video. Now for the book part, Alicia was forced to select the missing page number 176. Here's the secret behind this part. The photo he showed to everyone was a gimmick photo. Also, as you can see, he never shows the backside of the photo. So there must be something behind that photo. Well, loosely attached behind the photo is the top right corner part of that page number 176. Also, it was the photocopy of that corner part of the original page that he had attached to the photo's backside. Now, wherever Alicia would have said Richard to stop, at that page, he would show Alicia the corner of page 176 attached at the photo's back side, and in the process, force her to only select page number 176. Also, if you look closely, the amount of page that he shows to Alicia is smaller than the judge's photograph. He then carefully takes out the photo and places it in his pocket. So this is what happened. 
Richard forced the page 176 which Alicia had chosen, and just before the act had started, he ripped that original page from the book, created another photocopy to place in the corner part behind that photo, and then placed the original ripped page inside the bottle. But some of you'd think, what if Alicia stopped at the beginning of the book, would the trick not work then? Well, the magician is in control of the book, so even if she stopped at the start, he can delay or speed up the stopping, to arrive at a page somewhere in the middle. Also, a volunteer will naturally stop somewhere in the middle of the book and will not wait until the end, in case there are no pages left. Finally, we all know the reason why the page fit perfectly to complete page number 176. After he takes out the missing page out of the bottle, if you note, we only get to see one side of the page. Also, since he forced the page, he also knew what the first word in that page was. So it was more convenient for him to have the burn mark of the word bottom pre-made before the act, and was on the back of the missing page the entire time. Also, if you see this frame, there is a small burnt mark present at the front of the page. This confirms that the already burnt mark was pre-made. And the fire set on the page was just a visual effect created using a special gel that burns and then extinguishes. Finally, he reveals the burnt word bottom to amaze the audience and the judges. So finally, the last but a very interesting trick in our list. The hot tea trick. Once again, we will look at a trick performed by Richard Jones, but this time around it's an easy one and you'll all like it. During one of his BGT performances, he takes out a chilled orange soda can from a bag and converts it into a cup of hot tea. The judges even saw steam coming out as the can was getting heated up. On confirmation, it was indeed the judges' favorite cup of hot tea. So, how did he do it? Well, this trick is a prepared trick and the soda can he brought on stage was already filled with tea inside it. But still, how did the tea become hot? The can used for the trick is a gimmick can, which had a heating coil placed inside it, and Richard controlled that heating coil as and when he wanted. So it's the heating coil which gradually gets heated up and the smoke comes out of the can. Finally, the hot tea is prepared, which the judges approve it happily. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? The beer trick, the book trick, or the hot tea trick? And name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal. Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.